today's episode of Minecraft Makeover, we're taking this build sent in by Minji and transforming it into a magical baby castle. Ah, I spawned in the water. I'm sinking. Just kidding. What's up, Inara Tags? I'm here in the world sent in by Minji. And this is actually the first build submission that's in a real world, not a flat world. So that's pretty cool. This build is on its own island in the middle of the ocean. Let's get out of the water and take a look at it. I see a sheep. Hello, beautiful. Let's do a 360 of this house. So this is the front of the build. This is the right side. This is the back of the build. Ooh, skylights. And this is the left side. You know what this kind of looks like? A castle. Look at the front of this build. Don't these front pieces look like castle towers? Especially with the roof being like that. That is 100% a castle tower if I've ever seen one. That's gonna be such a fun idea. Oh, I'm excited. It has been decided. I'm turning this house into a baby castle house. Before we do that, we should probably uh, look at the inside. So let's see. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, front porch vibes. Beautiful. We love these little bush tree things. Very cute. Oh, secret light source. I see you. I see the secrets. Now what's in here? <gasps> a kitty. Oh, the cat's name is hi. Hello. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Over on the right, we have a living room. There's a big couch over here with some pillows on it. And then across from there, we have two smaller seating areas, a carpet, and a TV. Over this way, it looks like we have a seating area that goes along with the kitchen, which is right over here. I love the use of trap doors for cabinets and drawers. That's super cool. <gasps> and I like this sink too. Oh, that's smart. I like that way better than a cauldron. Is there a chest in there? Is there actually food in this fridge? Ah, oh, no, there's no food in there, but that's a cool idea. What is this on the ceiling? Oh, more hidden lights. That is so smart. And what is this Harry Potter looking staircase? Oh, it's the bathroom. <laughs> I found the peapot. That's a beautiful spot for a peapot. I approve. Now, your stairs that go upstairs are kind of going into the wall a little bit. But that's okay. I can fix that. I just gotta huh, jump up here. And let's see what's upstairs. The first thing I notice is a closet over here. There's a carpet on the floor. Over in the corner, we have a double bed with a super cool bookshelf headboard. <gasps> this is a cool desk. Wait, that is such a smart idea. I would have never thought of this. This is beautiful. Are there any secrets in this book? Nope, no secrets. And then what is this? I had no idea what to put here. Nice, nice, nice. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Okay, so it looks like the top of this house is like the bedroom and office area. And then the bottom part of this house is the kitchen, living space, and bathroom. Okay, well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to transform this one. So let's get started. Da, 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 da. I've made a baby castle. Look how cute it is. You've probably noticed that this build is a little bit different than what you just saw in the time lapse because I'm indecisive and I changed my mind. On the roofs of these towers, I decided to mix a bunch of blocks together that I thought looked pretty cool. Originally, I was using some magenta terracotta and it just, I wasn't vibing with it. So I just replaced it with some of these purple planks and these purple dotted blocks. I was also trying to keep the little overhang that was in the original build, but I just, again, it just, mm, I, I wasn't feeling it. So I just, I changed that too. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the outside of the build. This is the front. You can't really see the sides because I planted a bunch of trees everywhere, but then this is the back of the build. 
I was trying to play a little bit with textures. As you can see, I have the quartz pillars on like the bottom portion of the build and then it goes into the bricks on the top part of it. <gasps> I just realized, oh, I messed something up. Wait a minute, I totally, wait, 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 wait. I originally had quartz stairs on the windows and I changed it to the purple ones. Wait, but I never changed the rest of them. Don't look, you don't see anything. Okay, well now that I fixed that, let me show you around. So this is the castle. We have a basic four tower setup, but I put an extra bonus room on top of it. So if we go inside, this is what we see. Uh, it's just a big open room on the bottom floor, but we also have all these cute cubbies where all the towers are. I already went ahead and I made a fuzzy carpet in the middle of the floor because I could not help myself. But the cool thing about this build is if we go upstairs, we could technically walk around this little baby balcony, but this up here is gonna be the bedroom. I thought it'd be fun to play with some more color up here to match the tops of these towers. So all the windows and the skylight are purple and pink. Now like I normally do, I went ahead and I made a little chest. Ah! I made a little chest and I started to put some things in it that I wanted to use to decorate. Starting with the kitchen, I thought of a weird idea that might not look the best, but I'm going to try it anyway. I want to see what it would look like if I just had a few counters in the middle with a double sink by the window. Then we can use more of these sink blocks to create a large island. We'll add some stools in front to have a place to sit. And now this is where the weird part comes in. I want to extend the kitchen into the two corner towers. So I want to add counters in here like this. And I want to do the same thing over on this side. We'll put a block there and a block there. That way we could have two refrigerators. And then in the middle over here, we could have a stove. In this corner, we could have a microwave. In this corner, we could have a coffee maker. And then maybe over here, we could have a toaster. Above the kitchen island, I want to create some kind of cool lighting feature. So what if we did something like this? That's kind of cool. Oh, I almost forgot the upper cabinets. Whoa, wait a minute. I actually really like this kitchen. We have like a double mirrored setup of all the appliances, but I mean, this is a castle build. You have to have a cool kitchen. Now let's see, we need to add some greenery. So let's put a plant here. We could put a plant here and we could put one on top of the fridge. In the corner of the kitchen towers, I thought it would be kind of cool if we can hang some plants from the ceiling. Oh, and I almost forgot. We have a super cute bubblegum ice cream cone. Okay, I think the kitchen is good. For the living room, I thought we could keep it pretty simple by just adding two white couches across from each other around this carpet. Then in the middle of the carpet, we could have a small coffee table. And then on either side of the couch, we can add some more plants. Now over in this front corner, I was thinking that this could be where the desk goes. So we could try to make something like this. And I also want to try to do that book thing that the original builder did. So we could just add some lecterns on the side. And then to cover it up, we could just add some trap doors. Except now that I'm looking at this setup, I don't know where to put the chair. Oh, that's weird. Let's put it in the corner instead. There we go, that's not bad. Now we can just put a chair right there and we can decorate the area with some plants. Over in the opposite corner, we can make this the reading area. Let's place some upside down stairs, that way we can place some items later. And then we can just surround everything with bookshelves. Let's hang another plant from the ceiling. Then we could add some purple candles. We could add some white flowers. We can fill up the bookshelves. And we can add some floor cushions. Wow, this is so cute. Okay, it's safe to say that I'm obsessed with the interior of this home. This one might be one of my favorites. Oh, and before we go decorate the bedroom, look at these that I found. Since we're making a castle, we have to display our swords. <gasps> Wait, we should place the swords one block higher like this on either side of the door. That way we can display armor below each one. Wait, no, here. Uh -huh. Yep, that looks sick. Okay, now that this bottom floor is done, let's work on the upstairs bedroom. So up here, I obviously wanna put the bed in the middle of the room. And because we kind of have this purple theme going on, we could have a purple bed sheet. On either side of the bed, we could have some purple nightstands. And then obviously we have to have a cute sheet plushie. Let's go ahead and add a lamp over here. We can hang some fairy lights from the ceiling. We could add a mixture of different carpets on the floor. We could add some hanging plants and we could add some more bookshelves. Okay, well now that I finished decorating, let's go on a final tour. 
So here's the outside of the house. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but I added some of these little like baby river ponds on either side of the castle just to kind of make it look like a moat, even though it's not really a moat, it just looks cute. We have some fairy lights in the trees and we also have some fairy lights going along this path. So now as we go inside, the first thing we see is the living area where you can sit on the couch and just hang out and stuff. Past the living area, we have this super awesome kitchen. I'm obsessed. This kitchen is so cool. We've got microwaves, toasters, stoves, coffee makers, and refrigerators. In the middle, we have a double sink. We have a fancy island with a cool light fixture above it. And we can sit at the kitchen island with some bubblegum ice cream. Around the front entrance of this build, we have our armor on display with our swords. In this front area, we have our desk area where we can sit and study. And then over here, we have the library. Look at how beautiful this is. I just wanna sit here and read books all day. Now, if we go around this way and walk up the stairs, this leads us to the upstairs balcony where we can look out into the ocean. Beautiful. But no, actually, this is where the bedroom is. So we've got a fun carpet, we've got our bed, we've got some plants, a lamp, a sheepy plushie, of course, and we have a bunch of books. Oh, and wait, for the final touch, we have to add Jeb. All hail King Jeb. This is your castle, buddy. I hope you like it. All right, guys, well, now that you've been given a proper tour, let's take a look at the before and after. So here's the original build before, and here's the after. All right, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys liked it, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part about this build was. If you're a new viewer, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.